Good morning. Welcome to day two of the Pennsylvania. Oh, got to change the names. Day two of the Pennsylvania State Championships. Very unprofessional of me to not be ready. Sorry about that. Malayan. Sean Wilkie. It's going to be a good one today, guys. 761 Fargo. Versus 744 Fargo. This is a race to seven. We're going to have a couple guests with us today. Mr. George Hammerbacher. My good buddy Andre, a couple other people. We might even get the wife on the uh, commentary today. The, the other owner of PA Pro Am. Guys, if you can, like, subscribe, and share. Up our stream. Got to share out to a couple spots today. Like I said, day two of the inaugural Pennsylvania State Championship. We started with 59. We brought it back six for day two. Paying out top 12 spots. Pretty good Calcutta. Overall great tournament. From here, I believe both of these players are actually going to the Bull Championship down there in Virginia. Good shot there by Sean to make his hit. Is any other match out here? The other there are two matchups this morning, which is obviously the one we're watching right now. Sean Malayan. Sean Mark Malayan versus Sean Wilkie. And then our other matchup is Mark Natasche and Mike Soleil. That's a seven, I'm sorry, six eighty seven Fargo or six seventy eight Fargo, six seventy Fargo. The winners of them move on to get to the hot seat. The losers of these match have Henry Cha and Lucas Werner waiting in the wings. Lucas gets the loser of this match that's currently playing. And Henry Cha gets the loser of the Mike Soleil versus Mark Nanache match. Guys, don't be afraid, too, to talk to us in the chat room. I'm going to pin the bracket to the top so you can see the bracket that we have going on. Looks like uh, Mark Malayan might pull the first rack here. He gets on his eight pretty good. 
21 viewers. We're a little low right now. Let's try to build that up. If you would like to help us obtain better equipment for our stream in the top left-hand corner there, it's the Cash App, dollar sign Frank Maialetti. Anything that's donated to the stream gets put back into the stream. Now we're looking to get ourselves a new Predator light over top of the table and make the lighting pop more. Beautiful shot there by Mark Milan. Gets himself down. For the nine in the top left-hand corner. He's going to try to make himself one nothing here. One nothing mark going into the next rack. The winner today is going to get the top right hand belt there. That's the 2023 Pennsylvania State Nine Ball Championship belt. Snake skin, the gold plates. If you guys are interested in getting your own belts, go to www.trophysmack.com backslash PA Pro Am. If you do purchase a belt, go ahead and use my code there, which is PA50, that'll actually get you 50% off a matching ring or any kind of ring that you make. Trophy Smack's all about doing bling and doing cool things and over the top things for trophies. Check them out. Leave you a link there in the chat. All right, rack number two, Sean Wilkie. Up to break, trailing one nothing. Sean's got a killer break. Watching bus balls yesterday, they were just every time he hit them, it was like a shotgun going off. The way Sean was hitting his racks, I was talking to him earlier about it yesterday. It looks like he's, he was saying he was hitting it right around seven o'clock there on the cue ball, the in the box sponsored cue ball in the bottom corner there, he's hitting it right there and just kind of popping the ball a little bit to the center of the table. That one got kicked a little bit. Also for this particular tournament, two balls racked in the back, one ball's on the spot, nine does not count on the break, cannot win or lose on the break. The nine ball's also spotted on the break if it gets made. The nine ball's also a called ball, you must call your combo or call the nine ball to the pocket to win, there's not, no slot nine in this tournament. Draw there by Sean, kind of did not get where he needed to be. See Sean using a little bit of a high right, maybe about, the, about two o'clock there. About two rails, trying to leave himself behind the eight ball. Didn't get all the way there. That's going to leave Mark Malay in a shot. I think Mark might actually try to take this uh, possible combo, come back up two rails. A little bit of 11 o'clock there on the cue ball. I'm up two rails and get behind those balls again. All right, here we go. He's going to take his shot. I went the opposite way. He banked the two up there. And he gets in there. He actually measured at it. I didn't realize what he was doing there. He actually measured the shot in. That's a fantastic shot. Like that. Alright guys, we're gonna also 
bring on the other, the, we call her the other owner of PA Pro-Am, my wife, Miss Mindy Mialetti. Good morning, everyone. So Mindy is on the mic here with us today. This is actually her first time doing a live stream mic, so take it easy on her if she uh, doesn't do the best job. <laughs> Mindy is, uh, what do you know, almost 500 Fargo? 470. 470 Fargo. Uh, I'm, very, a, I'm a sneaky 470 guy. Yeah, very, very um, deceptive 470, I guess you would say. She plays in a lot of the ladies' events, JP Newts, things like that. Took was Caroline Powell a couple weeks ago to the Hill. A really good back and forth match. She's such a strong player. Literally put your nose on it. There you go. Just be just a little louder when you talk. Okay. There you go. Much better. All right. Looks like Mark Malay and Mike get himself down. Get himself down to two nothing here. And his break just could get out of hand quickly. Yeah. It's like two rails, low left, seven o'clock English, two rails, yep, yeah. come Perfect. around. Yep. Down to the nine. I mean, definitely with these caliber of players, you know, one miss could definitely put a huge swing on it. Oh, absolutely. That's our newest sponsor there, Q Pocket. Q Pocket is the maker, and the, I'm sorry, Q Pocket is the official maker of the 2023 Pennsylvania State Championship Q holders, as you see here in the demographic. On the top there is the Musketeer, the bottom is the Recharge. Uh, I had the Musketeer, Mindy has the Recharge. That uh, plugs your phone into it, charges it. They're also interchangeable, so each one of those plates come off. You can see that they have Q, uh, joint protector holders. They also have holders for your extensions. Uh, rack number three. Mark Malayan up 2 nothing over Sean Wilkie. That one ball might be a little tricky. I'd play safe on here. One ball? No, I think he's going to... He actually could play... Go for the combo? He could do it too. Uh, he might play... Yeah, he might play a safe shot. Yeah. Actually could play, possibly play a carom. Play off the side of the one. Let the cue run into the five. There is a there is a combo possibility, but he would have to hit it absolutely perfect because he has to come... He has to pull it off the rail. I mean by that is you can see on the rail it's closer to the rail. You see how the five is off the rail. He would have to bring it maybe about an inch or two to the left and control the cue ball at the same time. And so spin it, yeah. Yeah. See what he does here. Yeah, it's all saying. See how he hit it. He was a little too much to the right. He had to go to the left with it. Hit it yeah. too straight. Okay, it's easy for me to sit here and say, oh, he hit it too straight, didn't hit it right, whatever. But I mean, that's an incredibly tough shot. It was very tough, yeah. I think I, I would have probably gone for the CD personally. Look, he's measuring a couple shots here. He's got to go from the one to the two. 
So he has to make sure he clears the eight, or he has to hit it well enough that it comes in between the three and the eight. He might even duck it down, go three, go three rails to the low end. What I mean by that is gonna almost. Yeah. Tough shot. I was trying to was trying to bring it around three rails. Alright, that's going to give Mark Millane a chance to get out here and make it 3 nothing. This is an alternate break format, so Sean does get to the table again to break. How do you hit it? Hit it good? It's rough. Self to the two in the side. Leaves himself to the three. I don't see any obstacles. Four to seven, but it looks like this might be a punch shot. Punch over straight. Yeah. Mindy's newer to the tournament scene and, and running tournaments and everything. This is a, a bit of a new world for her. Seems like she's uh, pretty excited to be part of it. Absolutely. It's a very astute uh, response there, Mindy. <laughs> you, are, you are allowed to talk. You do own some of the company. I know. <laughs> I just never know what to say. I'm just talking. Don't be afraid of. Anybody in the chat have any questions? Want to talk to us? Obviously, go ahead and throw some stuff out there. Like I said, Mindy's new at a lot of this. Wants to try herself at the streaming portion of it. It was a great shot by Mark Mullane. Pull that ball right back. Seven to the side. He's going to probably draw it again about eight, ten inches backwards. Great shot. Perfect. Guys, I'm going to keep eating your ear off, but like, subscribe, and share for us. Let's build our numbers. We want to get to 150, 200 viewers today. We had 300 two weeks ago for the Bean Hung Karen Core match. This match is just as fantastic as that one to help us grow our numbers and get it out there. This is a match you would possibly see on a on a matchroom event for free, or a matchroom event for 20 bucks. Easily. We like matchroom around here. And Mark Malaya makes a score three nothing in a race to seven. And then we got Sean Mulkey breaking with his great break. November 28th is for the witches. That's for the ladies Pennsylvania State Eight Ball Championship. October. I'm sorry, October. October. <laughs> 1500 added. I'm really excited about that event. Our last one was uh, phenomenal. 65 women. Uh, we had a lot of ladies on the list that at the last minute couldn't make it. Some prior engagements, but we're hoping to maybe break that number this uh this time, get ourselves into the 70, 80 range. I know this time uh, we have a couple of girls coming from New England. Yeah, a lot of ladies from New England are going to be coming down. Definitely expecting that to be a, uh, a hell of a time. 
Come up when we can get 96. 96 would be a fantastic number. You got a nice uh, angle on that two ball to be able to get down for the three. Yeah, so he's become just hold it one round. It's a great shot. Yeah, beautiful. Especially the speed that he hit it with. Yeah. Very easy to overstroke that ball. All right, Sean Wilkie's going to come. I expect the Sean to come two rails here. Yeah. I left, bottom rail, side rail, play the four in the side. Problem with this shot is, A, he's a little straight. Get stuck behind that eight ball. I don't know if it's stuck behind the eight ball. That's I was about to say, a shot like that, you have to not necessarily English it in. You have to just kind of fire it down there. As you can see in the background, we have the boxes for our ball set for this tournament, Dinospheres. This particular set is Dinosphere Platinum. For the TV table, the other tables have the Dinosphere Silvers. And then one of our esteemed sponsors, Kamui. We have the Chalk Shark there. PA pro -Am in the middle. With the overhead here, it just has to come backwards. About 18 inches. A little longer than that. I'm going to go up straight. Absolutely. He might be a little bit straighter than he wanted to be. Still in good shape, though. Yeah, he should be okay. Just pull straight. Yeah, just draw straight back. Beautiful. Fantastic shot. Looks like he's going to take a 4 nothing lead. Right, Mark Mullane's going to take a 4 nothing lead in a race to 7. As we were saying, October 28th is the Ladies Pennsylvania State 8-Ball Championship. It's a tiered entry. We'll put a link here in the chat for more information on how you ladies can get into that wonderful event. We're also going to put a link in the ch in the chat to Q Pocket. If you're interested in any of the Q Pocket products, go right to their Facebook page. That's how you order through them. Put a link to that in the chat also. Guys, don't be afraid to use the chat either. It's been a little quiet. No one's really talking. Sunday morning, everybody's waking up. Probably getting that hangover out of their uh, out of their system. Getting some brunch, watching some pool. Also, don't forget to check your fantasy lineups. Frank here is going to help you out with that one. It's 1130. 
Check the last minute waiver wire, add drops. Remember, don't start your quarterback against the defense he's playing against. Minnie's looking at me like, what, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. What does quick. that mean? <laughs> so, if, if uh, my quarterback, say my quarterback for the Eagles, is playing the New York Giants, and I have the Giants defense, I don't want to play the defense against the Eagles quarterback because one of them is going to do good and one of them is going to do bad. One has to win, one has to lose. So the theory there is that if the Eagles quarterback does really good, then my Giants uh, defense gets zero points, or if the Giants defense does really good, then my Eagles quarterback is going to get low points. So you never match up against the same two teams. I got gotcha. you. What's your fantasy football advice for today? Make sure to ring that tip jar for Uncle Frank when you win your uh, championship <laughs> in fantasy football. Fuck, there was a lot of people having a good time here last night. Myself included. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I walked the wife out at the end of the night. Leave her car here. All right, Mark Mullane looking at this six ball. Got a couple options here. I think he's going to... I mean, that seven ball's in a, in a tough spot. I think he's going to come high left and try to come from be, come between the eight and the rail. Oh, still got there though. He's gonna kind of a two-way shot. Plays it in the side, soft. If he doesn't make it, then it it's a safe. It hit, it's yeah, on behind the eight. If he hits it firm and comes back out, then then you know we had it. Yeah, he had it. Great shot. Looks like Mark Mullane is going to take a 5 nothing lead here for Sean Wilkie. What a beautiful break and run. Don't count Sean Wilkie out, though. I've watched Sean do Come some. Back. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Listen, a player of, his, of Sean's caliber, 744, is more than capable of, of breaking and running here and, and getting out. I mean, he could potentially get a break and run here and get himself on the board. Easily. One miss, and one miss in the next three racks, it could actually be Wilkie. It could be three nothing Wilkie. Yeah. If Wilkie breaks and runs out, the lion breaks dry or misses the ball. Wilkie gets out and then breaks and runs again and scores five three. That's very very possible. Yeah, he got bad on the one though. My buddy Andre, my mother, my brother from another mother. Every time he looks at me, he just whistles and does the drink shake. That's why I love him. A little quiet here in the pool hall this morning. We should get busy around one o'clock. Have the local APA in here. Be about three hundred players. All right, so Wilkie's gonna push out here. Hold the cue down to the bottom rail. It's gonna leave Mark Milan. Some ideas on what he wants to do. You can hide the cue ball, hide them one. I'm probably gonna dip off in about five or ten minutes. So You're I not can... going anywhere. You're staying right here. I got We're gonna practice. All right, here we go. Mark Mullane. Thinking about it for a few seconds. Dishes out a nice two rail. Ooh, just came out. Just came out. Just trying to hold it behind the seven. Yep. I'll keep the one behind the nine. No, nah, he's just trying to hold the. He's trying to hold the cue ball. See him point at it. I think he might try to. Yeah, Wilkie's gonna probably. He's got options. I mean, he can cut it. 
It's extremely tight cut. You can bank the one and try to float the cue right behind the two ball. I think that would be his best nice bet. Sean is a shot maker, though. He does, does fire at some shots. You know what I like about that shot, though? So, even though Sean... Not even that. It's a confidence shot. Even though Sean's down 5 nothing, he still fires at that ball. Because he trusts his stroke. He trusts his, he trusts his, his skill. He didn't make it, but he fires at it knowing that he has the opportunity to make it. And also, sort of a two way shot because if he misses it, it's going to leave Mark Millan with a semi tough shot to make in the corner and get back on the two. I wonder what's going on over on table three. Uncharacteristic miss so far there by Mark. Mark's a shorter gentleman, like 5'2", about Mindy size. Um, watching him stroke the ball yesterday with the way he hits and the way he controls the cue ball. It uh, should be very inspiring to Mindy. Absolutely. One of Mindy's favorites is also being hung. Same thing. Very short-statured woman, but can really, really run the rock around the table. It's not an easy shot for Wilkie at all. He's looking at the cut. I think he's going to play safe. Try to go two rails, leave it behind a seven. Oh, a little harder than one to do, I think. A little safe battle in this rack. Back and forth, Malayan and Wilkie. 67 viewers, that's we're growing our numbers here, guys. Everybody's waking up. Tell us where you're from. Who's the furthest away? I think it's, uh, what's it, nighttime there and over in Australia. That was a great shot. Sean kicks it in. To my Finnish people over there in Finland. I'm very big over there. 6 45 p.m. Time for you guys to. It's almost party time. <laughs> These days I'll get over to Finland. I'm big in Finland. Huge in speaking Finland. Of big, speaking of big in Finland, sometime in uh, April, we're going to be bringing Mika Imman in here to the pool, do some challenge matches. Hang out, shoot some pool, teach some lessons. I'm playing a tournament. It's going to be great. Excuse me. Charlie Roy, two miles. He's on his way. Oh, if, boy. If you're in the area, guys, make sure you come down here to Bluegrass. Bunch of spectator room for you to watch. We got the chairs all set up for everybody. Chairs for everybody, enjoy. yeah. Sacramento. Is that California? Sacramento, where you at? Where you at? <laughs> I'm going to say Wilkie's going to get himself on the board possibly here and make it a 5 to 1 score. I really like those cut shots. You're five foot one. What would you like about that shot? 
bleeding all the way over like that. I just like those angles. Wilkie gets himself on the, board, on the board. Makes the score five to one. Don't count him out, guys. Cold water, Michigan. Mindy's from Michigan. Yeah. Kalamazoo. They got family in uh, Vicksburg and Battle Creek as well. Guys, if you're a one pocket player, December 16th, you need to be here at Bluegrass for the Pennsylvania One Pocket Championship. Bluegrass is a one pocket playing pool hall. We love one pocket here. Always action here. Always. Always line out the door at 10 a.m. <laughs> yeah, it's the actually the truth. <laughs> 10 o'clock in the morning is when we open, and there's always people waiting at the always front door to get it. To get in on their one pocket action. A lot of bear ball gets played here too. If you don't know bear ball, it's basically one ball, one pocket. Lion's gonna get a nice you got a nice generous kick off that two ball, pushes the one down to the table. Sixty eight viewers. Trying to hit that hundred number soon. Try to hit that 200 number today. Might be able to have a couple giveaways. Let me reach out to a couple sponsors here, see what we got. Hell of a shot there. Yeah, perfect. Back on the two. Mark Malion looks very comfortable every time he shoots. Watching him play yesterday, there was not too many shots. And actually, John Wilkie, too, there was not too many shots. Either one of them was taken where they didn't look comfortable shooting the ball. I feel like it's all about consistency and, and having confidence. Absolutely. I mean, at their level, they, they should. I'm assuming they're at their level, they're always going to have high confidence. Yeah. He has the window here. I think if he doesn't run into the five, he has the window where he can draw this about three rails. So it'll be your top left diamond, top rail first diamond, and then right in between the eight and the six. I'm sorry, eight and a seven to get himself on the five into the side again. You have to with a, with a slower approach, just to play with one railing. And then really all he has to do is just ease the five in. He's got a nice angle to get on the six. Ooh, Ooh. held it up. On this one. Might be able to back spin off. I spin basically off that side rail, and just catch the part of the five. So like spin, yeah, right there. I ever see a little squiggly line that I had. And depending on how well he plays it, I can come back out just like that. It's almost like I drew the line for him. See that, Mindy? <laughs> know what I'm doing every now and then. Pretty, pretty sure you've done it a time or two. <laughs> those who can't teach, those who can't do teach, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, Wilkie's about to get himself back into a second game here. I think he gets the break also. Right, five, six, seven. Yeah. 
Clint D, six players left. If you look at the top. Sorry about that. Clint D, if you look at the top there, I have a pinned uh, comment, and it's uh, it'll take you to the bracket so you can follow along with all the action today. Okay, let me update the score here. Rack number eight, Wilkie trailing five to two. Gotta watch the track. Yeah. All right, babe. Okay. It's been a pleasure, but I'm gonna. Jump off and go take care of my team. Right, get the hell out of here. <laughs> Thanks for having me, everyone. Bye, babe. There you go, Tom. I updated them for you. Uh, these two guys doing the old school where they're just keeping beads. Got the shot here with Wilkie. I don't think, yeah, that two is going to be really tough to squeeze. Wilkie might be playing a safe here. Yeah, Tom, they're doing the beads over there also. I'll try to get an updated score for you if I can. Update it on digital pool. Tough shot there by Sean trying to go for it. Trying to leave Mark a chance to possibly get out, get himself onto the hill. Three to four seems to be his only trouble ball. If he gets from three to four, I don't see him having any chance to not get out. Just has to avoid that side pocket for a scratch, which I'm absolutely sure he knows. Okay. 
soften today. Good stroke. See any reason why he's not going to get out here? A little bit of high. I'm one rail down. He can even overshoot the seven if he wants. He can draw it. There's about six different options here. Get himself down for the seven in the side. Interesting. Maybe a little further than he wanted. See him going around the table here. Seven in the bottom left corner. I would think seven in the bottom left with a high left English here. Maybe 11 o'clock. There is a draw option, but I really don't think that's the best option for him. Went the opposite way. Well, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna give Wilkie ball in hand to make it five to three. It will be Malayne's break next. Regardless of the outcome of this rack. Wilkie fires it down, makes the score five to three and a race to seven. Making it a good matchup here, folks. We are here at the prestigious Bluegrass Billiards 9490 Bluegrass Road in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I won the 2023 Pennsylvania State Championships. We have over 50 tables here in the pool hall. Full service bar and food, drink, everything you could ask for. Stop on down anytime you're in the area. Action's always welcome. Road players are always welcome. I also want to thank our tour sponsor, Integrity Cues, integritycues.com, for all your cue, case, and accessory needs. All right, rack number nine. Wilkie trailing five to three. Oh, that's an uncharacteristic scratch that could change the tide of this match. All right, I don't see Wilkie having any, maybe six to eight could be a tough, a tough lay for him. When I say tough, that's just the only shot that I see that's not the simple stop push him in. Like Wilkie, we could walk it into the rail, come back over. He 
you could also play it in and then play it down. Like that. Right now, this is the most important shot of the, of the match for him. Catch that. Oh, wow. 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 Dave. Dave. It's a squirt. Mark's up 4 2. Okay. Looks like we have a score of 4 2 right now over there in the Nana Shea Soleil matchup. It's not a verified score yet, so we'll get your verified numbers and we'll get back to you on that one. Mark Millan's going to get himself on the hill. Make the score 6-3. to three. November 11th is our Pennsylvania State 10-ball championship. If you're interested in getting into the tournament, I'm going to leave a link here in the chat. Go ahead and sign up. Get yourself down here to Bluegrass. Of course, every one of our state championship winners gets a customized state championship belt. That is theirs. It's not a give it back type situation. You win that one, you take it home. I have enough in my house. I don't want it in there. Take it with you. Rack number 10, Wilkie, Wilkie trailing 6-3. to three. Did not get the leave off the break that he wanted. Looks like he's going to be in a push out option or a possible kick safe option. Lucas Werner just walked in the door. He gets the loser of this matchup. Winner of this match goes into the hot scene match to play the winner of the Nana Shea Soleil matchup. Wilkie hit that a little too hard. Might give a lion a chance to get out from here. Secure the win to put himself into the hot seat matchup.
Looks like Mark Mullane's making simple work of this rack here. All right, sorry about that. Lucas Vernon was asking me a question about his matchup. All right, so Mark Mullane's going to spin this ball down. Looking to shoot the nine into the corner to secure himself a hot seat matchup. All right, Mark Mullane wins with the score of seven to three. Gonna secure himself a hot seat matchup. Guys, don't go anywhere. We're gonna have uh, probably Sean Wilkie versus Lucas Verner next. <laughs> 